In Mexico, every state and region has traditional dishes that are eaten on special occasions. For example, pan de muertos for Dia de los Muertos and rosca de reyes for Dia de los Reyes. Weddings are no exception to this rule. In rural North Mexico, it is very common to have asado rojo, also called asado de bodas, for the main dish of the party. This dish is a guisado, or a stew, that is made out of pork, meat, and red dried chile sauce. Today, I want to share with you a version of this dish from the state of Zacatecas, which differentiates from other versions by using chocolate and orange juice as an ingredient. Because I want you to be able to replicate this recipe in your kitchen and to spin things up, we're using a pressure cooker. However, if you want a slow cook it in a crock pot, Dutch oven, or a regular pot, it is completely fine. These are the ingredients that you're going to need for this recipe. If it is easier for you, you can take a screenshot of this. While you're at it, you might notice some ingredients that are not very commonly used. Fear not as I will give you some options for substitutes as the recipe goes. Let's start by searing our meat. Add some oil to your pressure cooker and saute the meat on high until you notice it browning. Don't worry about it being raw as we will cook it later on. In the US, there are some supermarkets that sell meat labeled as pork for carnitas. These work great for this dish. If you can find these, you can use cuts like pork butt, pork loin, and pork ribs. Once done, set the pieces of meat aside. Now it is time to cook our onions, garlic, and bread. The bolillo bread is used to thicken our sauce. If you cannot find this at your store, you can substitute it with regular white bread. Cook until brown, taking care they don't burn. When done, you can put them directly in your blender cup, just like I did. Now add your dry chiles and let them cook for about half a minute. For your red dry chiles, if you cannot find guajillo at the store, you can use dry California or dry New Mexico, these two should do the trick. As for ancho, ideally the best substitute will be mulato, but if you cannot find mulato, you can use pasilla. Then add two cups of water, cinnamon, orange juice, and piloncillo. If piloncillo is not available at your store, you can easily substitute it with brown sugar, molasses, or jaggery. Let everything cook for 10 minutes, then add them to your blender cup together with the cinnamon stick. Do not throw the remaining liquid away. To finish the sauce, we're going to add to the blender the pepper, salt, allspice, chili powder, cloves, and enough water to make the consistency of the mix lighter. Here you can see that I added one cup, then realized that wasn't enough, and added an extra cup after. We are ready to put everything together. Going back to the pressure cooker, put your meat back in. Strain the sauce we just blended and put it over the meat into the pot. If at this point your sauce is still too thick, you can add more water to it. Lastly, add your orange peel, bay leaf, and chocolate. Mix one last time and close your pot. For my Mexican chocolate, I'm using Abuelita brand. If you cannot find this, you can also use Ibarra or Popular. Or if you cannot find any Mexican chocolate at all, you can make your own with some cacao and sugar. Pressure cook on high for 40 minutes. This gives you enough time to cook some sides. I actually got to cook some rice and mashed potatoes while waiting, which are the traditional sides for this dish. Now that the 40 minutes have passed, you can see that the meat falls apart just by pressing it with the spoon. Just like all of the guisados in Mexico, they are best enjoyed with some warm tortillas. Now, I wanted to give you enough options for substitutes on ingredients so you have no excuse to not make this at home. I guarantee you that you're gonna love the taste of this dish. The flavor profile is everywhere. It is sweet, it is spicy, it is sour, it is chocolatey, and more. And the coolest part is that you don't have to wait till someone gets married to try this dish. Which reminds me, I gotta put this on. <laughs>